Welcome back you guys. So today we have a review video to do and we're doing a review on the new Stila um, powder and I got it in the color light medium. This product is $30. It's a little pricey but We'll see if it's even worth it. So the benefits of this product are loose setting powder spray designed to set makeup as a soft matte finish, which I'm all about it because my face is oily. So I always um, set it anyway. So hopefully this helps with the matteness as well. It says formulated with skin loving oil observant ingredients to mattify skin without looking dry. So it looks like this. And they only have three colors. They have a light, light medium, and a dark. So those are the only colors it comes with. So I don't even know if it's going to work with my color or if it's even going to look too light or too dark. I have no idea. It comes with a little pump. So we're gonna give this a try. I already did do my makeup. I have not set my foundation. So I'm gonna give this a try and let you guys know if it's worth it or not. It says usage. Shake well before use. Spray onto brush or buff, then buff onto face. Avoid contact with eyes. Do not spray directly onto face. I'm going to be applying this with the Morphe G6 and it's just a flat like kabuki brush. So I'm going to shake it, press it on here. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Oh crap. Oh my god, it's a lot. I'll put some on here. I'm putting it on the lid. Oh dang. Okay. Well, I've never tried this and I didn't know what it would look like. But I got powder all over my hand. My mirror. Okay. So now. Oh. I don't know. Oh my god. So be very careful. Whenever you guys are taking it out of the bottle, be very, very careful. Because a lot's gonna come out with not even the whole pump. So I'm gonna put a little more. It looks powdery, but maybe whenever it's like completely soaked in your skin, it's gonna look better. It doesn't look cakey. I'm just kind of getting to me. I kind of am loving it. But do I love it for $30? So my husband approves. He says it looks good. I approve. It does look like a little powdery, but I'm pretty sure it will set after we're all done. But I do like it. I don't know if I would always go straight to getting this product, but it is good, you guys. Just remember, you guys only need a little, little pump because I still have extra product from not even one pump. Now I'm going to apply my bronzer and my highlight and see how it applies with it. I'm going to be using the Morphe R3 for my bronzer and I'm going to be using the Hoola Benefit. This is my favorite. And I go very lightly on it. I'm going to be using the Ofra. Um, this is with Nikki Tutorials Overglow. I'm going to be using a little bit of 
these two just in the middle and I'm going to be using it with a Morphe E61. I'm going to apply my lipstick and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. And I'm wearing the NYX lingerie in Lipley 04. I'm scared to set it with like setting spray. Would that be too much? I'm gonna set half of my face with like the setting spray. I'm gonna be using this one. I really like this one. I like using this one before and after my makeup. I don't want to use a mattifying one because I already have a mattifying setting powder. I don't want to be that matte. So I'm going to set it on this side of my face, see if I notice any difference. don't see a difference. It's already dried. Final thoughts on this product. I do like it. But like I said, if I had a full coverage foundation, I would probably really enjoy this. Just because it's going to give you that matte finish. It won't make it look cakey at all. It does look way better set with this than with the actual pressed powder. Because this makes it feel light. And it just gives you like an airbrush finish. So that's a good thing. But I really do enjoy it. Cons. I feel like... My highlight didn't go on as smoothly. And my bronzer, you could barely even tell. I mean, I don't mind it because I don't want anything too drastic. But if I needed it to go out and I didn't have a bronzer, I mean, it wouldn't look cute. But overall, I mean, it's a good product. If you guys can afford the $30 on a powder, Go for it. I would recommend it. I mean, if you guys buy it at Ulta or Sephora, you guys can always take it back if you guys don't like it. But I really do like I do recommend it, you guys. I think you guys should give it a try. And if you guys have tried it already, let me know down below if you guys liked it or didn't. So this was a quick review for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe and leave a like. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.